Are you sick of having a messy house and a family who just doesn't seem to get on board with cleaning up? Do you feel like you're the only one that cares and no matter how much you try, you can never get on top of the chores? I get it. You work hard, you keep this house running, and sometimes it feels like you're the only one picking up after everyone else. It can be super frustrating and leave you feeling overwhelmed. But before we jump into nagging or feeling resentful, let's explore a different approach, inspired by the book, The Vortex by Esther Hicks. This may be the very peace of mind you need to regain your sanity. This book talks about the law of attraction and how our thoughts and feelings impact our relationships. Now, before you dismiss this, I invite you to learn how you can shift your perspective and create a more collaborative cleaning environment in your home. In this video, we are taking a different approach. We will be answering some questions on how you can ask your family to help tidy the house without having to nag your family and feeling angry. I am a busy working mum, I am time poor, and I spend so much time cleaning. The house gets messy again and again. It's so frustrating. I just feel like there is no point. What should I do? I hate being angry. That's totally understandable. To begin with, you might have to revisit your expectations. Are they realistic? It's not always easy trying to keep the house tidy, especially if you are doing it on your own and you are also working. But instead of dwelling on the mess, try appreciating the moments of tidiness. When things are clean, take a deep breath and acknowledge your hard work. That positive energy you radiate puts you in the right state of mind to look for solutions where you may not have to do it on your own and you can positively ask for help from your family. But shouldn't they just know to clean up after themselves? Maybe, but we all have different values. What you perceive as being important and being the standard may not be the case for your partner or kids. To begin with communication is key. Instead of nagging, have a calm conversation about your desire for a more collaborative approach. Talk about how you feel when the house is messy and how their help would contribute to a calmer, happier home for everyone. Nobody likes being told what to do, but if you can approach it in a way where you are seeking their input and asking for help, they are more likely to respond because they feel valued. Okay, but how do I ask for help without sounding like a nag? This is a tricky one but is possible. Frame the conversation around solutions, not blame. Instead of saying, you always leave a mess, suggest specific tasks. Would you be willing to help with the dishes after dinner? People like to be asked, not told and judged. I've tried asking before and they just don't listen or care. It might take time for things to change. Be patient and consistent with your communication and positive focus. Remember, the law of attraction is about attracting what you put out there. Focus on feeling good about your efforts and visualize a clean and organized home. It may be in the past that you have been asking out of frustration rather than out of a sincere request for help. Is there anything else I can do? Absolutely. Here are some other things that you can consider. Firstly, lead by example. Maintain a positive attitude and continue to clean up when needed. Your responsible actions can inspire others. Remind yourself that you are doing it for you and not because you have to so that you can remain positive about the situation. If you are feeling negative about the situation, then maybe you need to pause, take a breather or walk away, just so that you can reset your state of mind. Secondly, don't forget to celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and appreciate any efforts your family members make to help, no matter how small. Everyone likes to be reminded of how much they are valued. Even though you think they should already be doing this, that sort of mindset doesn't always elicit positive responses. Acknowledging someone for any little bit of effort makes them feel good, use this to help you reinforce positive wanted behavior. It may feel unnatural for some moms, so start small. And lastly, don't forget to make it fun. Take the seriousness out of things by putting on some music while cleaning together. Sometimes a little fun can go a long way. Okay, so can you give me an example of how this conversation could play out? Let's say it's 
dinner time and I've made dinner. I would like the family to help clean up instead of just leaving the mess for me to clean and go and watch TV. That is a perfect example that we can work through. Here are some action steps you can take today based on the principles from the book The Vortex. Begin with shifting your vibration before dinner. Take a few minutes before dinner to relax and appreciate the meal you prepared. Visualize a calm and orderly kitchen after everyone has eaten. Next express appreciation during dinner. During dinner, express appreciation to your family for sharing the meal together. You could say something like, I'm so grateful for this time together as a family. When the time comes to ask for help, frame a request as a shared goal. After dinner, initiate a conversation with your family. You could say, I'd love to spend less time cleaning up after dinner. What if we all worked together for 10 minutes to get the kitchen clean? Then we could all relax or have some family time together. Make sure that you focus on solutions, not blame. Avoid accusatory statements like, the kitchen is always a mess after dinner. Instead, focus on solutions by suggesting specific tasks. Would you mind putting the dishes in the dishwasher? Or, could you help wipe down the counters? And remember to celebrate even small efforts. Once the cleaning is done, acknowledge everyone's contribution, no matter how small. You could say, thank you all for helping out. The kitchen looks great and now we all can relax and watch a movie together. By focusing on appreciation, clear communication, and celebrating even small wins, you can encourage your family to help out without feeling like they're being nagged. Remember, consistency is key. Keep practicing these steps over time, and you might be surprised by the positive shift in your family dynamic. Thanks for joining me in this video today. I hope you found it useful. Busy working mums, before you dash off to tackle your next task, isn't there a part of you that just wants to savor these moments with your kids, even the messy ones? What if I told you there's a way to be more present, to truly enjoy the fleeting moments with your family, even during times of craziness? Make sure you check out my video inspired by Eckhart Tolle, a mindfulness guru who helps us busy working mums escape the autopilot and rediscover the joy in the everyday to help achieve happiness. Get ready to learn how to be fully present with your little ones, even when you only have five minutes.